For over a century, the predominant way to sell a home in Australia has been by auction. The appeal of an auction is that the homeowners believe they can get a higher price by forcing buyers to compete against each other in a bidding war. But I think by now you have realized that I'm not Australian and no, we are not in Australia. So why am I talking about how they sell homes in Australia? Well, stick around to find out. Hey guys, if this is your first time on the channel, my name is Manuel Sanchez. I'm a real estate agent here in San Diego, no, not Australia. And this channel is all about real estate. So going back to relating Australian home sales to the US, is that here in the US, for the most part, homes are not sold by auction. But if you talk to any buyer over the past couple of years, they would argue that the real estate purchasing process feels more like an auction than the conventional way of buying a home. I've been in real estate long enough where there was once a time when homes generated only one or two offers. It wasn't that long ago, and the overall temperature of the market was much different than today. I might sound like a broken record, but with today's limited inventory and line of buyers interested in every home that comes to market, a bidding war develops. And in today's world, the asking price can be seen as the reserve price, the minimum bid acceptable to a seller. Often offers that come in at the asking price do not excite many sellers, resulting in delays in response until a better offer comes along. Initially, record low mortgage rates paved the way for white hot demand. An unbelievable 17 record lows were achieved after the country slipped into a pandemic back in March of 2020. The lowest rate was reached during the first week of January 2021 at 2.65%. Well, that was then, this is now. And today, rates have dramatically climbed from 3.05% in December to 3.55% in February. That's half a percent in a very short period of time. And they are poised to rise further as the US economy continues to improve. But why is it that now with rates getting a bit higher, homes are still selling extremely fast. Well, this has to do more with this severe inventory shortage. The inventory has plunged to record lows. We started off the year with 1,254 homes for sale in San Diego County. Today, it has risen slightly to a little over 1,500 homes, but that is still far from normal. The three-year average prior to the pandemic was 5,400 homes on the market. This same time, prior to the pandemic. That's more than triple what we currently have. So yes, the auction-like atmosphere will continue if inventory remains at ultra low levels. It seems like higher rates are not yet deterring buyers from purchasing, but if they continue to rise, it will be a totally different story down the road. By the way, a quick message to sellers, home sellers, or if you're considering selling, Work with a professional agent that is knowledgeable on how to price a home. I can't stress this enough. Pricing a home is crucial in obtaining the best outcome regarding price and terms. Pricing at or slightly above the last pending or close comparable will expose a home to the largest buyer pool. This will have buyers fighting over your property. On the other hand, pricing it well above the last sold comparable may still result in achieving the goal of selling your home. However, it will be at the expense of not obtaining the highest price with the best terms. I always tell my clients it's better to price low and sell high than price high and sell low. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys got something from this market update. If it provided any value and you made it this far in the video, then please hit the like and subscribe button and share it with your friends and family. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.